What up guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Irvin V Adventures. Uh, it is October 13th, 2016, and uh, we seem to be having a little bit of a cool down here in SoCal, so, um, you know, getting out more. Hopefully, you know, I'm going to be able to get out more and uh, do some more fishing. So, today's episode is kind of kind of more of just like a little tour here of the, the home base, kind of like the, of the, where I've been, been doing my, my, my little videos, and... Uh, I kind of wanted to show you guys here this, this thing I just came up on right now. It's a little 10 gallon tank, little fish tank here. Uh, it was in my backyard and I uh, pulled it out. I was looking, you know, covered in weeds and dirt and shit and I, I cleaned it out. And I wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm going to be doing with it, hopefully. So I wanted to kind of make it like a, 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 a lure test tank or just fill it up and use it for that. And I kind of wanted to, I've been wanting to, to get like a little pet, little pet bass uh, going, but I really, really don't want to pull a, a, a bass out of the lake. It's, it's not good for them. But I see people do it. Kind of cool videos. Of people, you know, feeding their bass and, and, and you know, just chilling in, in the tank. But uh, I really don't want to, you know, put a pet bass, you know, go get a bass out of a lake and keep it, uh, keep it in captiv captivity. So if anyone has any ideas for uh, any cool, like, you know, fish that you can feed and, and direct, you know, they can feed actively and. They're kind of, uh, you know, pretty cool to watch and stuff. And let me know. So, you know, I just wanted to, to in this video, show you that, show you the, the tank and kind of go through my setup in here and just show you guys what, what I have. So, got a beer, of course. So, here on my wall, if you guys saw my last video, uh, this is kind of new. I just threw them up there. I've seen people do it online. It's kind of a cool little background. And it's a cool way also just to store my extra lures and line extra line right there you guys see back there that little lure this chatterbait right here is actually my first ever uh fish caught on that and uh it's a cool little little memento for anyone that's you know if, if you're new to fishing catch your first fish keep keep that lure and i uh, also kept a little line on it kind of weird but <laughs> i kept a little bit of line on the lure the the lure was a uh, chatterbait uh, with a Kitek trailer on there, so that's something my brother told me. Keep your lure. First bass, keep that lure, so eventually when you're older you can look back on it and be like, you know, show your kids or whatever. So, you know, just going through here my wall. This is up here where I keep my rods. Put the beer down. Rods up here. Just got a uh, big board, just nailed it up, drilled some holes. Got the Akuma right there. Let me zoom out. The Akuma, the Shimano, the Bass Pro, uh, Paycaster, the Dawa, and that's her brother's uh, Dawa on a crank rod. That's pretty much it. Again, that's the background. So, again, if you guys have any ideas for fish or something cool I can kind of have in there. I want to also, also, also think about maybe a reptile. Uh, something like a, like a baby boa or a, maybe a chameleon or something. Uh, let me know, guys, if you have any ideas for, for pet bass or whatever. We're chilling with the beer. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.